Good day everyone, thank you for joining me once again. It's good old Nick here, if I'd be so bold to call me a good old. But we're going to be revisiting a really cool racing game which deserves to be revisited. It's Stunt Car Racer on the 128K, published by Microstyle in 1989 and designed by the legendary Jeff Crammond. Now we're going to be doing a single player, I'll jump right in. It might be a longer video than normal. Look, Nick, proving it's me. Um, might be a longer video than normal because I really, really like this game. Now, it's um, it's a racing game on a sort of like a roller coaster sort of thing. Four divisions. You fight uh, or race against two opponents on each track to try and get promotion to the next one up. So I'll just see how far we can get. We start in Division 4. Two tracks, the uh, Little Ramp and the Humpback. Uh, you get two points for a race win over three laps and one point for um, the fastest lap. Okay. Now this game I originally played on the Commodore Amiga, didn't realise it was out on the uh, ZX Spectrum, and every version I've played of this is really good. Out of any game I've ever played, it really tricks the brain to convince you of the inertia that you're actually on the track. Now I remind you that this is 8-bit. Check out the draw rate. Our opponent is next door to us, L1, that's lap 1, we've got boost to do the acceleration, and underneath there it says plus, that's how far our opponent is ahead or behind us. At the moment he's 12 metres ahead, I can't quite see him though, he must be alongside, and we've beaten him there. Now, you've really, you really got to get used to this, or else you can fly straight off the track, because it's quite narrow. So I go around here. Hopefully, the tracks are very similar to the Commodore Amiga version. Now, along the top, you might see a crack gradually developing. If we land it not quite right, the crack goes all the way across there, then the car is a wreck. Whee! You see your speedo in the middle on that black bar. You do have to judge your speed correctly for different sort of jumps. But it starts off quite gradual, and it's moving, it's moving slower than the Amiga version, but still very fast for the 128K. This is absolutely excellent game absolutely brilliant. I mean, how is the ZX Spectrum doing this? It's drawing this very, very, very quickly indeed. And I bet you, even watching it, you're feeling these bumps as well. Now, I've played this game quite a lot. Now, if you're a newbie to this game, you're going to be flying off the track quite a bit and you might find it's impossible. So, it's one of those rare ones where I'm going to make it look slightly easier than it really is. So, you've got to put in the practice how it actually works. So, as you can see, we've gone through lap 1, 51.19. We're 270 metres and clo uh, climbing ahead of our opponent, so we think we're going to do this quite well. Now the tracks get gradually quicker through the divisions. The, the next division is Division 3. If we get promotion, we do the big ramp and the stepping stones. Then it's the roller coaster and the high jump and the drawbridge and ski jump. As I said, you get two points in the league for winning the race and one point for the fastest lap, so you go off the track, it's not all lost, you can try and speed round to get the fastest lap of the three. And whoever wins the league, because there's three of you in the league and counting you, the winner will get promoted to the next uh, division up, the person who comes second will stay in the league for another season, and the person who comes last will be prom uh, well um, relegated, unless you're in division four, of course. Have you got it? I think you've got it. Whee, is that too much? Oh my god, that's too fast. Okay, now this... This straight you can really, really accelerate. Hurrah, right, off we go. So lap two, check out my lap time. 58.04, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, pretty good. I spent loads and loads of time with this on the Commodore Amiga. Um, do check out my review as well of the Amiga, the TNT. Someone did a hack version there to give you extra tracks. They're not um, as good as the original tracks, but they're good to see, and they're a different colour also. Now, I think on this Spectrum version, it's monochrome. But each track is a, a different colour, although some might be the same. So we start off with yellow. I'm not quite sure what the next one will be. It might be green. I'm not sure. Or light blue. Cyan. Lap three. We've got this race in the bag, I think. So it's going to be three points for us in the league. Two opponents. So you race on each track twice against, well, one, one opponent, one the other opponent. And there we go. Good, good, good. So we'll keep playing this. It is revisited. It's not really a review type thing. We'll keep playing it until I'm out. But don't worry, if you are playing this yourself, there is a save feature, I believe, so you can have a go at the different leagues as much as you possibly can. The speeds, I think, are similar to the Amiga, but I might get caught out, but the tracks, the layout is identical. Just moves ever so slightly slower, but still quite fast. There you go, race one. Look at the crack across the top as we deliberately drive off. Uh, but yeah, it got in about, about just over halfway, didn't it? So the car wasn't wrecked. A nice, gentle track to get us running. There we go. There's my times. You could try and beat them if you want to. Nick versus Jumping Jack. 
two points and one point equals three points. That's my that's my expert maths. So there's the league table. Jumping Jack leads. He's raced three times. I've only raced once. Now I, I race him on the humpback, and it is green. So there's only one bad bit on this, a little tricky bit, and that's the humpback bit, and it's all gone green. And it's all gone green. Good, good. Check out these engine sounds. Ooh, sounds like a penny whistle. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit camp, but never mind. Never, never mind, it's a good game nonetheless. Good stuff. I think they were developing Stunt Car Racer 2 on the ZX Spectrum, but for some reason it never came out. Which is a bit of a shame, really, because I think out of all the versions, I think 8 bit versions are the easiest to do a sequel on. Right, there's my opponent zipping away with these nice square wheels. So, we're going to have to try and overtake him now. And this is when the. Whoa, oh, Nicky, whoa. This is when it gets a little bit tricky because it's a narrow track. Your opponent can knock you off the track. I think it's virtually impossible to knock them off. But it's just finding the best place to overtake, so bide your time. He's about, what's he, about 80 metres, 90 metres ahead of me. So we'll try and track him down. Look, the draw rate wasn't particularly good there, but it's acceptable on the corners. I like the way they put dots on the skyline to try and make it look uh, slightly different to create some sort of distance. So it's easy to follow. Let's go to one side here. Can we do this? I think we're past him, are we? We're alongside. Oh, so that hasn't landed quite. Look at the crack. Oh, it, we lost a bit there. Where are we? I thought I was off the track then. Right, it's 35 metres. He's, he's coming back a bit. No, we've held it. So we've got past him with a daring manoeuvre. Now we just need to drive around without falling off the track. Easier said than done. Uh, and then we're looking good for a promotion. Right, jumping jack. And I think the other opponent is Roadhog. On the Amiga version, uh, you do get to see a picture of your opponent, and they're quite comical. Here you don't, so you just get their name. So do check out the Amiga uh, review if you haven't already, possibly the revisited one. Hooray! Good, good game. So if you own a Spectrum and you're looking for some game with uh, inertia, you can't get better than this. As I said before, you feel every bump, and you do feel like you're in the car. It's a rarity. Marvellous, marvellous game. I think if you actually, well, it is on the Amiga version anyway, I think if you win Division 1, it does put you back to Division 4, but the car's extra super powerful, so the challenge the challenge goes on. If you don't want to do a race straight away, if you want to get used to all the tracks, they are all accessible initially. Uh, well, they are straight away. We can do practice mode and all the divisions. It's just the, the racing, the league, you have to actually get promotion to get there. So you can practice as much as you can without another car on the track. But uh, to try and make an interesting video, I've jumped in straight away. Now, I've got a funny feeling this might end up one of being one of the longest Spectrum reviews. Uh, well, it's not a review, is it? A revisited review type thing that uh, I've ever done. Excellent. So those people that like long videos, this is probably it. Unless I don't qualify from Division 1, and then, it, then it's not happening. So using enough of the screen, you see the uh, red sort of like uh, roll cage around that. Um, before I mention that to you, I bet you were so drawn in you didn't even notice it wasn't using all of the screen. But it's using it's using a lot of it. I remember, it wasn't widescreen back in the day. It was a small, like, squarey type screen. Look, I'm easily winning this. Look, I'm at 900 meters coming up ahead. There you go, 9.012. Saw that zip pass. Try and get some air there. Ooh. Yes, I've got some air there as we jump over there. Good. Can we get over a kilometer ahead of this person? I've never ever lapped um, an opponent. This is one of those games where it was always um, you, you could on the Amiga version you could play against um, a human uh, opponent by connecting two Amigas together, but I never ever was able to do that. It's one of those games where I wish it was online versus about twelve human opponents over about ten laps. That'd be absolutely amazing. What an eSport that would be! Make the track ever so slightly wider. Put twelve people going around with lots of different tracks, and then you got an absolute winner, haven't you? Someone, please, please, please do that. It'd be the most greatest thing ever. And we're about 1,200 metres, yep, 1,200 metres ahead of our opponent. It's what's called, known in the trade as an absolute rout. It's an absolute crashing. We're going to take it there. But as I said before, uh, I'm making this look fairly easy because I've played this game, well, i played the Amiga version lots and lots of times, and the track is very, the layout is, well, almost identical. Race one, good. Another three points for me, I think, unless he did a sneaky fastest lap without me knowing. Eat floor. So we land in some swamp. 
it looks sploosh. Crack got about, about 60% of the way, but it resets every time, I think. You can get holes in that if you take a massive crash. Six points. Is that enough for me to be top? Yeah, I'm top of the table. It's only me and Roadhog now. Uh, maximum you can get six points. I only need to get a fastest lap from him or one extra point, and then I'm going to go up. Back to yellow. And it's all yellow. Do, 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 do. I will try and fix you. I've got two songs mixed up. Here we are. Right, we know what to do here. Let's speed around, and I think Division 3 awaits us the big ramp and the stepping stones. I, 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 I'm not your stepping stone. Dun, 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 dun. I, 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 I'm not your stepping stone. It's the monkeys. Way hey, they're the monkeys. And it's yellow like bananas, like the monkeys. Here we go, zipping down the track. Oh my god, I got to overtake him back. Come on, I can get no slip stream in this. It's not a solid colour, he's gone. And I think that's the last we'll be seeing of him. So long, Roadhog. And all how Jeff Crammond. Boo. Whoops. Right, three laps. Let's see if I can beat my fastest lap from last time. I've already got the cracks already a little bit there. Unless it's a little mark. It's, it goes up ever so slightly. See, you know, I think by using boost... Oh, that hasn't done that. It's going to be a big crack open up. Whoa, look at that. But I'm already 300 metres ahead of Roadhog. I don't know what he's driving. Maybe maybe he's got pedal power or something like that. He's nowhere near. I mean, how far away is 400... Well, 300 metres. It's going to be 400 while we get up here, surely. There's no, uh, there's no gears to sort out here. It'd be absolutely super impossible if there was. It's just... It's just uh, accelerate, decelerate, and boosts. That is it. And keep on the track. Which only seems to be about 10 metres wide. Keep to it. Try not to go to the edge. Give yourself as much chance as you possibly can. Right, so any lap under 50 seconds is good. 49.4 is the first lap. I I'll take that. That is good. As long as I stay on the track, my opponent is no way going to come back past me. I'm um, not trying to tempt fate here. There are a few pokes for this game, but I don't think you need them. I think it's pokes for no damage, um, infinite boosts. But I, I'll, always, I'll always have a few boosts left over, unless it gets like Division 1 or 2. There's quite a, a tricky track um, later on Division 1 called the Ski Jump, where it's a massive jump with a big pillar in the middle. If you don't have enough speed, even by a fraction, you will not make it and smash into that. And then it's pretty much game over straight away then. And there's also the drawbridge in that division, which involves a ramp going up and down. And you must go, as soon as you go on it, the angle locks. But if you go on it too sharp an angle, it's, it's doomsill, really. So it's all about timing that. Again, I'm thrashing this person. 49.4 was the first lap. Let's see if I get near that. It was a running start this time, so I should do. All three laps under 50 seconds would be good. 47.08, 11 boosts left. Should be enough to get us through with great aplomb. Right, then we're just the hump back again. And um, then uh, then the next one. I think if we do the get to the hump back, which we will do, I think I'll give my opponent um, a nice little head start to try and make it a bit interesting. And then try and wheel him in. Because if I get three points on this, I'm going to win the league anyway. So we might as well showboat a bit and have a bit of a laugh. Great stuff. If you had this version back in the day, or the Commodore 64, and you've completed all uh, four divisions, let me know. I certainly completed four divisions on the Commodore Amiga version when it went to, well, even faster cars. And I got to about the stepping stones, I think, the next time round. So Division 2, or well, Division 3 of that. All got a bit tricky then. All got a bit tricky. I think the stepping stones is particularly tricky, because you need to get to about 140... Um, pretty much thereabouts or else you overshoot and then the car falls down a gap race one he's done it again uh what was that 47.3 that time so all, all three laps under 50 seconds i'm pleased with that a massive huge victory there great stuff i'll tell you one thing about this as well the amiga version had it added like a, a celebration graphic here this doesn't bother with that there's people surrounding your car waving and you picture of you with champagne and stuff or at least a trophy Good humpback. Not to get confused with the hunchback of Notre Dame, of course. And it goes back to green swamp territory. Up, up, up. We get lifted up by the crane. Imagine doing this in real life. It would be pretty scary, but I'd like to watch it on the TV. If it was on, I would definitely watch it. 
Right, okay, right. We're going to let our opponent get away a bit. Maybe I'll, um, I'll reverse a bit. What should we give him? About 300 metres? There he goes. Square wheel, man. Right, come on. About 300 metres, I think I'll give him. He's gone. Right, go. I've given, I've given him more than I wanted to. He's got up to 500. Well, um, this might be a bit of a boo -boo. Well, you know, the last race I beat him by 1600, didn't I? So we, we, we probably could catch him up and have a kilometre to spare as long as I get past him okay and don't fall off the track. So keep an eye on that. Plus five something. It's not going down too much so far. Hmm. Right, maybe you showboat him. Eh? But anyway, even if we don't win, we're still going to qualify there. I reckon I'm going to read him in. This is a quite a quick straight, so I should blast it here. It's all a question of looking in front of you. When you see a dot on the horizon, that's probably going to be him. Already taken about 100, well, 100 metres off straight away on that bit. Hopefully we can see him by the end of lap one. That's good, but I think we're going to catch up with him maybe midway round lap two. The roadhog that he is. Floor it. Go to, oh, I, thought I just just about saw him there going round that, unless that was an ant or maybe some corruption in the draw rate. Down to 250. Yeah, I can see him there. That's that's less than 250 metres, surely. 228. Coming forward. Yeah, we're, we're gaining quite quickly on him, so he's poodling round. Graphics have become a bit more solid the closer we get, and it's just picking a, a, a way to get past him, which is safe to do. Under 200. Yeah, he's, he's very, very slow. Um, some opponents do have different racing styles in this. Some are a bit more aggressive than others. I don't think Roadhog, despite his name, is too much of, a, of an issue. Under 100 metres as we go to lap two. 13, well, 14 seconds into lap two. Very We've got a straight coming up round here. So if he goes to one side, we might be able to accelerate straight past, but don't drive off the track. No, no, come on, slow down a bit here. So I'm right behind him. He can see me in his rear view mirror, if he had a rear view mirror, but he hasn't got any. Good to see the AI here in full action behind, the way it's been drawing it very quickly. But just try and think, all the things that the Spectrum's having to cope with here, 128k, it's controlling the lap time, how many boosts I've got left, the speedo, it's drawing the track, it's computing the AI component that we're behind. You know, and it's also doing sound. Oh, chance here. Come on, floor it down here. Probably get... Well, this is a very difficult one. Getting around the outside, unless we can cut in. We're about 15 metres. That was an awesome overtake. I mean, uh, a split second... Well, I still haven't got it under control. A split second later, we were in off. I haven't got it under control. Oh, scrape the outside. Get it back in the middle. We've got 100 metres plus to spare. Get it back level. I think we've done it. Good, we survived that one. We survived that one as we go on to the last lap. 57.18. Fastest lap so far. Only because we got held up by our mate there, Mr. Roadhog. Keep going. Very, very comical in high, in high uh, revs, this car. Just got to get round and we're there. Plenty of boosts left, as I say. we get, At one point, it was 500 metres ahead. And now we're about 300 metres ahead. So, you know, a gain of 800 metres. And by the time we get round the end, I wouldn't be surprised if it's half a kilometre up. Could just poodle around, really. I don't need to take any risks, but I, you know me, I probably will do. Let me know what you think about this game, if it's the first time you've seen it. Are you impressed or you're not impressed? You might not be not impressed, but, you know... I don't know what would impress you in terms of polygon racers if this doesn't. But anyway, I like a bit of honesty. You might find the play, but if you go around and kept crashing off, you might find it a bit frustrating. But it, it does reward you the more you play the thing. And once you get some any level of um, competence in it, you'll just be playing it forever. Trying to get to Division 1. Broom, broom, broom. Okay, I might... I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Let me know what you think. Uh, like we did, we did the Amiga version. If I don't get to the final uh, couple of divisions, oh, of oh, one anyway, if I don't get to the, the last final couple of divisions, I might do a bonus video just showing me going around in practice mode. Let me know what you think about that. Right, there we go. So I've got 12 points, maximum points. What's going to happen for next season? Please tell us. Promotion for Nick. Hurrah, he's done it again. So now I'm in Division 3 versus Mac Boos, who is supposed to be quite good, and High Flyer, which is a, a, a woman. So Division 3. We won't hang around, we'll go straight in. 
versus Mac Boos. He doesn't normally feature in uh, Division 3. He's been relegated. So see those stepping stones down the bottom? I think it's 140 we have to go there. But I'm not confident about racing Max Boos. And it's a white track. Doesn't mean it's snowing. Hope, hope not anyway. Or else it'll be a bit icy. Yeah, I seem to remember Max Boost is a quick starter. So we might be behind him there. The stepping stones, you don't want any car near you on that one. Because the slightest of touches can end disaster. And if, if you if you get those stepping stones wrong once, or even fall off the track once, you're not, you're not going to catch your opponent back up again. It's impossible. Slight chance with Roadhog on, one, on Division 4s, but not on this. Right, okay. So remember to blink here. My eyes are struggling a little bit more with the white and the black dots. Max boosts his straight pass, as I sort of like predicted. In his tissue box car. Yeah, he's got a distance. There's 25. Can I get him on the bend? That's a very tight corner right? space I'm going for there. I think I jumped through it. Good, so I lead, but he isn't too far ahead. Now, this could cause an issue. I seem to remember this one. We can't go up maximum speed. I've got to do, um, just, I don't want to fly off the track. I think just a normal speed, forward into a little bit of a dip. There we go. I remembered that well. Now, around the next corner is the stepping stones bit. I think it's 140 we need. Or 14 on on this on this thing. So trying to get near as a 14 as they can. Certainly that on the um, yeah I've gone out a bit quick there. Hopefully I get now that's a bit. I think I've overrun it. I've got on the first one. Sec oh dear, this is I've landed that badly. Yep, yeah, I've got a hole in the. Oh my god, what's happened to the car? Yeah, I've messed up there. Yeah, I, I needed 140. I think I went nearer to 170 or 17. And that's a disaster. Max Boost zips away as I bring up clouds of dust. This isn't good for my stunt car racing career. That was miles too fast. So he's already, well, past 800 metres ahead. So I'm not going to catch him up. So i just got a question. It's all about now surviving this lap and really powering around for lap two to see if I can grab the fastest lap uh, there. So, so that's, that's the only thing. Okie dog, he's done a boo boo, but he learns by his mistakes sometimes. Right, okay, feather it over here. This is near the end of the lap, I think, so we just get down here, then there's a, a right hand turn, and then we're over the finishing line. You can see his time, 1 minute 5.66 is the fastest lap so far. I'm pretty much 15 seconds behind. That's a lot of seconds. Oh dear. Right, over that, okay. Right, so I'm trying to beat 1 minute 5.66 to get the fastest lap. Sure, I can do that. I mean, I, was, I must have been off the track for more than 10 seconds in that, in that, um, that crash up. Ease up here. The crack looking quite high now across the main bar on the top. Car could be wrecked. Definitely need to do these stepping stones before. So, I think it's 14 I need to get on here. Uh, last time I was near a 17, which was bad. Let's try and get it down there. I control the speed. Oh, oh, still a bit too fast. Oh, it's too fast. Same thing's going to happen again. Yep, he's messed up again. Well done, Nicky. Nice one, Nicky. Nice one, son. Nice one, Nicky. Let's have another one. Crash. To the hospital, please. Yeah, so Max Boost. I've really gifted Max Boost there. Uh, he's favourite to win the league anyway, but he's got a full three points there. Oh no, Max Boost, what a name. Max Boost and High Flyer versus Nick. So now we take him on on the big ramp. Seems like there's two smaller jumps down here, and as you can see up the top there is a big jump, where we really have to max it. And we've gone into Cyan. This time it's not a dotted skyline, they've gone for lines right across. I think that works slightly, be slightly better, I think. But they, they're staying straight no matter what the angle, what gives there. I'm sure my eyes will get used to it. Look at this. It's all gone wibbly wobbly. Feel the inertia. Feel the bumps. Away we go. Feel the suspension as well. Right. Nick versus High Flyer. Let's not let her get ahead. She's got ahead. Oops. Some crazy little mogul things here. It's kicking the car up in all sorts of directions. High Flyer is not supposed to be as good as Max Boost. So if I can just pick a, a way around it, I think I should accelerate away. But let's just concentrate on these jumps first of all. This needs to be about just short of 170, which I was. 
Yeah, I've caught that. And this one as well is another something slightly similar, but you could probably do it on 140 as well. She's gone a bit higher than me, but I've made the jump anyway. Now, around here, this is when you've got to build the acceleration. Oh, no, that's too much. Whoa. You've got to build the acceleration to try and get as fast as you can around here. I'm going to boost city. This is the big jump. Big ramp. Please don't get in my way, computer opponent. This is going to be a bit epic. Am I going to jump over the top of my opponent here? Right, we're both up in the air. We're both doing a big jump. She's a lot higher than me. I'm not going to make that. Oh, I've made it just. I think they took a bit of extra speed. Good, so we survived that. Chances here. Go on the inside. Inside, inside, inside. What an overtake. Right, okay, so that was good. So we survived lap one. Not too far ahead, but the car's going to get chucked all around the place here with these moguls from the main street. Whoops. She's more cautious than me. I've just gone mad. But as long as I keep it straight, it's going to stay in a straight line. 150. Okay, so it's now looking good for the win. As we're on lap two, just get the speeds right on these ramps and my opponent's not going to really factor as someone that could not be off the track. Too far ahead. That's normal. Now, a lot easier without the opponent here is we build up speed round here to get the big jump. We've got to hit about 20 or thereabouts, or over it'll be fine. If the car jumps a little bit off the ground, it loses a bit of speed. Ooh, need 20. We're on it, we're on it. That should be enough. That should be enough. I mean, if you jump off at a slight angle, you're going to miss it. So you want to be as straight as possible to actually land uh, on the other side. But you knew that already. Look at the frame on the top right. We've got two holes where we've had two uh, big smashes before on the stepping stones. They stay with us, but they're not detriment to the speed of our car. You can't buy upgrades on this. It's just a set car each time. I do hope you track this one down. If you've got a real Spectrum, 128K, or just emulation, you're going to have a lot of fun eventually with this. It's going to be frustrating, first of all, let me tell you. You might do a bit of swearing. Away we go. Lap three, last lap. Now, hopefully, High Flyer can take some points off Max Boost, but uh, you know, I don't think, I don't think, don't think uh, you will. Is this High Flyer or is it Max Boost? I might have been confusing myself. Now, I think this is Max Boost actually. I said it's High Flyer, it's Max Boost. Yeah, because we we do two races against them first of all, don't we? Unless I'm getting terribly confused. In your face, Max Boost. Sounds like um. Oh no. Sounds like a chocolate bar, doesn't he, really? Right, okay. Round the lap three, 48.18 is my quickest lap. They're not going to beat that time, I don't think. I got Max Boost mixed up with a woman. I hope he, forget I hope he forgives me, but anyway. 48.81, so it was slower that time, but I was more relaxed. Right, so uh, Max Boost won one race, I won the other race. So, you know, we're level. We're slight level on points, so it all depends on how we do. Uh, yeah, it all depends on how we do against Flyer. Yeah, because he's on... No oh, actually, this is interesting. If I beat High Flyer on the last two tracks, I'll have nine points as well. Does that mean I'll get through or he'll get through? They've probably done it on how we race together or maybe alphabetical order. I should have called myself AAA, Nick. But that's all going to be academic if I can't do the stepping stones. Before, um, I was I went off about 170 or just under, so I was miles, miles too quick overshot my landing a little bit for the first step and then I couldn't build up enough speed for the second step and then I went completely and utterly off. So yes, yeah, so we've raced Max Boost twice. Sorry getting mixed up with High Flyer in the last one. Here we go. I'm hoping the computer's kind to me so if I win both these races I will then get promotion. We can but hope. Now I've already been playing this for almost half an hour so you can see how quickly I get carried away with racing games. And this is a good one to get carried away with. I'm glad that I've revisited it. Boo. I think the first time I reviewed this game, I think, incredibly, it was like six years ago. It might be 2014, I think. There we go, when I was just finding my way. But the video certainly wasn't this long, I don't think. Right, I've taken him there. Or her, I should say. Right, so yeah, I mean, she's much easier to beat than Max Bulls. It's just a question of if I can actually judge the stones correctly. The Rolling Stones. Ding, 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 ding. It starts singing, that might help me. 
Ding 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 ding. She's a honky tonk, a honky tonk woman. Slow down, slow down. Give me, give me, give me the honky tonk blues. He's done it. So the second one. Give me, give me, give me. Da 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 da. Oh my word! Here we go. Biff. Right. I think I've got that now. Thank you, honky tonk woman, Rolling Stone singers. So I've got the right speed there. So if I'd done that with Max Boots, I would have been qualifying by now easily. I think I would have beaten him, really. He's, he's a good racer, but he's not the, not the best one in the whole game. WizKids probably is. Right. Got a lead of about 260. I don't think that's going to go down. In fact, it's going up all the time. Going to have a pretty decent uh, lap. If I accelerate here, I'll be able to jump over this small gap, I think. There's the small gap, and we're past. Good. Lap 2. 1 minute 01 spot 55. Five. Let's see if we can get a lap under a minute. That must be the aim here. Looks like we've got plenty of time to do what we want. Don't go too quick up this one or you'll over zip the track, especially if you're on Super Super League once you've uh, run Division 1. It's ultra tricky then. You take, of course, the car takes more bashes the uh, quicker it goes and that crack uh, speeds up a little. Right, so we've done it the first time. Do we need the Femi at the second time? I think we've got the speed here. So it's round about the 1.4 or fractionally above. There you go. See, it is the same as the Amiga, really. 1.4. One, one, one I, was, I was just stupidly too quick before. So look, that, that's it. I've got it. So that feels... When you do it perfect, it looks easy, doesn't it? There we go. So that, that was no sweat. That was no sweat. What was I doing in that Max Boost race? I do not know. Edging it round the corner. Edging around the corner. Du, 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 du. Man, if I ever did a video where I completed the whole thing in one go, you'd probably be watching it for two hours. If indeed you're still here. If, if you are still here, then comment below. Well done, you. You're the sort of people I like. It helps helps watch time and the, the overall viewing of the channel. Off we go. Lap three. He's just got to hold it on track for this lap. And then we're there. See, look, the stepping stones looks easy now, doesn't it? I made it look hard the first time, but it's easy. It's easy. As long as you know your speeds, you're cooking on super gas. 1 minute 0.76 there. I didn't quite beat the minute that I was after. There's always a chance on this last lap, maybe. But it's all academic, because we're going to do this thing. I'm sure, I can, I'm sure I could slip in a 59, maybe. Maybe if I accelerate around the, the last uh, corner. But anyway, right. We've got to get this thing on 14. 14. Just get 14. That's pretty much it. Let's boost. Land. Boost. Boost again. That should be enough, enough run up. Yeah, there we go. So that's not going to be an issue. The stepping stones, we've gone over those on three consecutive laps after the uh, initial blunder. Check out the time there. 45, 46. I don't think mm, it's going to be a bit tight if I do it under a minute here. I think I could have gone a bit quicker. I've got 20 boosts left, haven't I? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to. Mm, I don't know. It's going to be very, very tight. 57. Check it out. Yay! 59.78. He just ducked under. Right. Okay, so. Now we've got that quandary, haven't we? If I win the last race against High Flyer, uh, the the um, the big ramp, which I probably will do, not getting too cocky or anything, I'm on the same points as Max Boost. Oh, why didn't High Flyer get a fastest lap against Max Boost? That's a problem. High Flyer is definitely going to get relegated. Hmm. Okie doke. See how this one goes. Could be the last race here. The big ramp. That'd be a good option if there was a stunt car racer too. Choose your car. You could have the A-Team van. Or the General Lee. Or Herbie from Herbie Goes Bananas. Can you imagine Chase View in this? That'd be actually crazy as well, wouldn't it? Chase View. Ooh. I do like racing games, but if you've watched this channel for a while, you probably know that, because I've covered, well, loads. When I first started covering Amiga games, most of the top first 50 I did were racing games. Anyway, anyway, it all evens out in the end. Three laps to go. Three laps to go. Could be the last. Could be the last race of the uh, of the revisited. 
uh, unless of course we do an, uh, another vid later on with the other tracks. Anyway, I'm still I'm still debating it. There's only so much. I was going to say there's only so much stunt car racer you can take, but I I could watch this for days. You might be watching this at time of isolation with the coronavirus, or you might be watching it much later and coronavirus is a distant memory. Hopefully, hopefully it is a distant memory because we survived. Round the corner we go, as we can't often do in this stunt car roller coaster super track. This sport doesn't um, exist in real life, but I'd love, I'd love uh, it to be covered in a modern day esports with realistic graphics because no one could die because you'll know you're going to... Um, well, it's just a computer, isn't it? Good. So, I've already got... I've been chatting away the whole time, but we're already 300 metres ahead of High Flyer. She's comparatively rubbish compared to Max Boost. One lap done, 51.15. So it's a shorter lap than the um, last track, the Stepping Stones. Mind you, those Stepping Stones, we have to slow down here. Pretty much, we're going quite fast all the way around. Engine sounds beeping in the background. You never get mechanical failure. 51.15, half a kilometre ahead. We know here we need about one, well, but just short of 170. There we go. That should get us across. Fall off the track and it's Doomsville, as you know. The crack across the middle there is not looking too bad this time round. We're maintaining structural integrity, which is always good. Something they always say in Star Trek. Hull integrity, down to 1% captain. Well, what's holding it together then? Bubble gum? Hmm, it's an odd one, Star Trek. Ooh. Oh. If you know of any homebrews of this, because I think you could deconstruct it. If you know any homebrews of this with different tracks, then let me know, because I'd be very interested to have a go on that. Very interested. Or if they did like a, a modern day one where it was just a recreation of this, plus it put the extra graphics in that are missing uh, from the Amiga version, that would be outstanding too. And if it run ever so fractionally quick, now on emulation you could probably make it run quick if you want to. If you own a, a ZX Spectrum Next, you could probably get it zipping around super fast. So uh, that's an idea for you. If you've got a Next, have a go at this. It will really, really look fast on that thing. Good luck staying on the track though, eh? Landing that one perfect. This is the final lap, 49.28. I didn't notice that when I was jibber-jabbering. That's a quite a good lap time. Was that quicker than before? It will tell us uh, when we get to the end. Right, so we're going to be on we're going to be on 12 points. Max Boost is going to be on 12 points. High Fly is going to be on 0 points, so she's uh, relegated for sure. What's going to happen? If it does it on alphabetical order, I'd be very annoyed. But uh, the computer being a computer, it probably say that. Mind you, though, Max Boost beat me once. I beat him once. So what you're going to do if we if we go down through alphabetical order? There's going to be a there's going to be a problem. Uh, that'd be just pure favoritism. The wheels aren't turning. I've noticed that much. They don't turn, do they? On the Amiga version, they turn, but that's all right. They give you the illusion that they're turning. That's, that's a very, very minor gripe, that Nick. Yeah, race one. Flames, flames are blue. They're not yellow. Another minor gripe. Right. So that, what happens now? Forty-seven point nine seven, a new track record. I get all the points. Max Boost is putting the lead there, but we've got identical points. Please, can we go up? Please, can we go up? Oh no, Max Boost goes up, controversial, controversial, and we stay there. Well, I think we will leave it there. That 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 gameplay was huge. Well, hope you like having a look at that one. I, you know, I've said it all in in the play. That was a brilliant game. So that was Stunt Car Racer on the 128K by Microstyle in 1989 and the great Jeff Crammond. Really worthy of another look. If you've got any comments of this game, uh, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that in the comment section below. Or any of your memories is more than welcome. And I love hearing from you, uh, speaking to the retro community. That's what it's all about. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.